Charming Pet Guru How do cats communicate with each other in 2024? Ever wondered how cats communicate with each other? Well, stop wondering. I've delved into it and had a chat with experts, and I'm excited to share the details with you. Just like us, cats express themselves in various ways. They meow, purr, hiss, use chemical signals, show body language like tail movements and facial expressions, and mark their territory. The way cats communicate has evolved. A study from Cornell University on evolutionary psychology uncovered that cats have adapted their meows to be more pleasing to humans. This adaptation might be connected to their knack for getting what they want from us, like food and affection. The study compares today's pet cats with African wild cats, whose sounds weren't as appealing, possibly explaining why they've remained wild. Meanwhile, our domestic cats of Felis Catus have learned to live with humans, using their more pleasant vocal style to fulfill their needs. How Cats Communicate As a cat owner, I've come to appreciate the fascinating and intricate ways my feline companions communicate with each other. Their communication methods involve a mix of vocalizations, body language, and scent marking, providing valuable insights into their social structure and behavior. Let's take a closer look at the various ways my cats communicate. Number 1. Vocalizations Meowing. I've noticed that while my domestic cats primarily use meowing to communicate with me, they also have different types of meows to interact with each other. It's fascinating to observe how mother cats and their kittens use specific meows during nursing and grooming sessions. Purring. Cats in my household often purr not only to express contentment, but also in situations where they might be injured, frightened, or in pain. It's heartwarming to understand that mother cats use purring to communicate reassurance to their kittens. Growling and hissing, I've learned that growls and hisses are powerful vocalizations used by cats to establish boundaries and avoid confrontations, especially in moments of aggression or fear. Related post, how to communicate with your cat. Number 2, body language. Tail position, the position of my cat's tails conveys a lot about their moods. A raised tail indicates confidence and friendliness, while a lowered or tucked tail suggests fear or submission. Observing a puffed-up tail helps me recognize signs of aggression or fear. Ears, I've noticed that forward-facing ears signify interest or excitement, while flattened ears indicate fear or aggression. Understanding these ear signals has allowed me to respond appropriately to my cat's emotional states. Whiskers, my cat's forward-facing whiskers suggest curiosity and excitement, while pulled-back whiskers can indicate fear or aggression. Monitoring their whisker positions helps me gauge their reactions in various situations. Number 3, Visual Signals Blinking, slow blinking among my cats is a heartwarming sign of trust and affection. It's a delightful sight to see them blink at each other, communicating comfort and ease. Staring, I've observed that direct stares can be perceived as a threat in the feline world. Cats may avoid eye contact or engage in a slow blink to defuse tension, a behavior I've learned to recognize and respect. Number 4, Scent Marking Facial Marking I've witnessed my cats using facial marking to claim territory and establish a sense of familiarity. Rubbing their cheeks against objects or other cats leaves scent markings that play a crucial role in their communication. Scratching, understanding that scratching helps my cats maintain their claws and leave scent markings has led me to appreciate this behavior as a way of marking territory. Number 5, Grooming. Allegrooming, my cats engage in mutual grooming as a beautiful sign of bonding and social harmony. It's a joy to see them reinforce social bonds within our feline family through this caring behavior. Number 6, Posture. Rolling over, when a cat rolls over and exposes its belly, it's a sign of trust. However, I've learned to approach cautiously, recognizing that it could also be a defensive posture. This insight into their posture enhances my understanding of their feelings and reactions. In delving into these aspects of cat communication, I've gained a deeper connection with my cats, fostering a harmonious and enriching relationship with these mysterious yet endearing companions. Number 7, Playtime. When my cats play by wrestling and chasing, it's not just fun to watch, it helps them practice hunting, figure out who's in charge, and become closer friends. Playtime is like their training ground for real-life skills and building strong connections with each other. Number 8. Protecting their space. 
In my house with more than one cat, especially outside, my cats patrol and mark their territory. It's like they're saying, this is mine, by leaving smells around. These scents help them establish boundaries and communicate with other cats about who owns what area. Number 9, Arguments and Getting Along Sometimes, my cats make loud sounds like yowls or screeches when they're upset with each other. If a cat avoids looking at another, lowers its body, or goes to a safe spot, it means they want some space or a break to avoid fights. Understanding these signs helps me keep the peace and ensure my cats feel safe and happy. Number 10, Sharing, Gifts My cats sometimes bring me small things, like they're sharing their food or teaching me to hunt. It's a way for them to show trust and share with me. These gifts are like tokens of their friendship, a way of saying, you're part of our group. Number 11, Talking in Meows Living with many cats means they have their special meows to talk to each other. The pitch of their meows can tell who's in charge, high-pitched meows mean being polite, while low-pitched ones show confidence. It's like they have their language, and understanding their meows helps me connect with them on a deeper level. Number 12, Sleeping Together Cats that nap close to each other stay good friends. When cats with strong friendships sleep side by side, it makes them feel safe and warm. This shared nap time is a bonding experience that reinforces their social bonds and group dynamics. Related post, cat sleeps with mouth open. Number 13, cleaning each other. When my cats spend a lot of time grooming each other, it's not just about staying clean. It's like a hug, showing they trust and care about each other. Grooming is a social activity that goes beyond hygiene, it's a way for cats to strengthen their relationships and maintain a sense of unity within the group. Number 14, talking in their way. My cats have their own words and sounds for talking to each other. It's like having secret conversations, and each cat has its way of saying hello or being special. Understanding these individualized vocalizations adds a layer of richness to their communication, highlighting the uniqueness of each cat's personality and relationships. Understanding these intricate aspects of cat communication helps me navigate their world better. It's like being part of a dynamic and complex cat community at home, where each behavior tells a story and contributes to the overall harmony of the group. Explore common cat health concerns, such as black spots on cat's gums for a deeper understanding. Number 15, Smell Talk, Olfactory Communication I've noticed that my cats really rely on their sense of smell to talk to each other. The messages they send through smells are very detailed, they stick around for a long time, and they can travel quite far. For my furry friends, this way of communicating through smell is super important. It helps them figure out where they belong, know who's friendly among our little group of cats, show when they're ready to find a mate, and maybe even share messages that are more complicated than I realize. I think it's pretty cool that in our group of cats, the different smells we share might make a special scent that's just for us. And that scent could help us talk to other groups of cats. Number 16, Messages in Waste, Urine, and Feces In understanding my cat's behavior, I've learned that they use two primary sources of scent, urine, and feces, for communication. While they usually bury their feces within our living space, leaving it uncovered at the edges helps them mark the territorial boundaries. The role of feces in cat communication remains a bit unclear to me, but I know it's a common practice among various carnivores to convey information. Urination and the occasional spraying of urine on vertical surfaces serve as methods for my cats to mark their territory, communicate with other cats, and convey additional signals, such as the readiness to mate with unneutered females. Interestingly, urine spraying is more common among male cats, and the presence of unique amino acids like feminine and isovolthine in their urine adds to the distinct odors. I can't help but notice how intensely interested my cats are in the smell of urine from unfamiliar cats, emphasizing the significance of urine in their intricate communication network. It's like they have a whole secret language that I'm slowly beginning to understand. Conclusion Understanding how cats communicate with each other involves a diverse range of behaviors, from vocalizations and body language to scent marking and grooming rituals. Observing these aspects provides valuable insights into the complex social dynamics of feline groups. Each cat's unique personality, experiences, and relationships contribute to the rich tapestry of their communication. 
As cat owners, recognizing and interpreting these behaviors enhances our ability to create a supportive and harmonious environment for our feline companions. By respecting their communication cues, fostering positive interactions, and acknowledging the individuality of each cat, we can build stronger bonds and enrich the relationships within our cat households. In essence, appreciating the intricacies of cat communication allows us to be active participants in the vibrant and nuanced world of our feline friends.